here we are, top of Kilimanjaro, 19,341 feet tall. That was February of 2019, the first time my husband and I went to Kilimanjaro and climbed to the top. He got to the top and I did not. The entire way down, I was battling internally between wanting to forget this mountain ever existed and wanting to come back and try again. The determination won, and so as soon as we got home, I started planning my next trip. I had it planned for June of 2020. When that didn't happen, we went ahead and started our family. After having my son Sam in March, I worked hard to get myself back in shape and the pieces fell back in place to return in October of this year. A lot has changed since that first trip in 2019, but the dream hasn't died, so I took a solo trip back. This is how it went. Starting at Macha May Gate, Kilimanjaro National Park. Up there, the porters are pulling out all their things they'll be carrying up the mountain, which is insane and amazing that they carry all of our weight. All right, no turning back. Porters carry a maximum weight of 15 kilograms or 33 pounds. They often balance the weight on their head and they will typically beat the hikers to the next camp to set up before we get there. Well, we're off to a rough start. It is day one and uh, already been sick on the trail, so that's been fun. Um, it's not altitude. It's nerves and anxiety. Kept me from eating breakfast. I haven't stopped for lunch yet, so I think once I get lunch in me, I'll be all right. But hiking on a pretty empty stomach, it's been a little rough. But I'm gonna get this, I'm not giving up. It's one day at a time. One day at a time, today is only day one, and I am in a beautiful rainforest, so I'm gonna enjoy every minute of it. Made it to Macha May Camp. First camp of the trip. Really opened up right after. Got tents everywhere. We've got the ranger station where we'll sign in. And we are those yellow tents straight ahead. It was a rough first day, but I'm here. Can't wait for tomorrow. Here's our camp. Got our sleeping tents and our dining tent, that nice big one at the end. Smile, you're on candid camera. <laughs> Kilimanjaro peeking through. While getting to know my team, I asked them for some of their reasons for climbing the mountain. About 16 years ago, I disconnected with nature because I worked in a cube farm and I had forgotten what it was and I felt I was dying inside. At that point I decided that I would go back out, see what I could see, climb what I could climb, and this was one of the goals that I had was to summit this mountain. That's why I'm here. First morning at Macha May Camp, we're making our breakfast over there, cloudy day. Should warm up though. Hopefully the sun comes out. All right, here we go. Day two.
Signs. Second camp. Shira Cave Camp. Is there actually a cave here? Yeah? Is that the hike we're doing later? Cool. After getting to Shira Cave Camp, there was an optional hike for more acclimatization. It took about an hour out and back, and we passed by the cave for which the camp is named on the way to the viewpoint. From this overlook, we could see Shira 2 Camp, our camp, and a great view of Kilimanjaro. The cloud cover over the mountain moved fast, but you can see a partial view here. <laughs> Alright, so why I wanted to do Killy. When I was growing up, my bone disorder called for a lot of corrective surgeries. I spent a lot of my childhood in hospitals and wheelchairs and and using walkers and I kind of adopted this disabled mentality and I carried that through till pretty much my late 20s and then I no longer needed corrective surgeries and I was pretty much good to go and I finally realized that I could start doing things physically that I never thought I could do and I started to challenge myself and I did Everest Base Camp was my first big, big challenge. And then when I saw, um, you know, advertisements about Kilimanjaro, I'm like, oh, damn, I think I can do that. So I decided to give it a shot. Lava Tower was formed when Mount Kilimanjaro was an active volcano. It's a 91 meter, 300 foot tall volcanic plug. Climbing to the top of the tower is banned due to safety concerns, but it's quite a sight from the bottom as well. About half of the trekking routes pass through Lava Tower as an acclimatization point as it stands just over 4,600 meters or 15,000 feet. sunny when we got here and now it is all hidden behind the clouds just like the last time we were here oh so foggy and finally some good steep downhill rock scrambling These otherworldly trees are only found on Mount Kilimanjaro. Named the giant Senecio, these trees' leaves will fold up to protect against frost. This tree is able to warm its stem to protect itself when it's cold outside. These trees always grow close to a water source. So, I'm gonna be completely honest with you, so don't expect anything philosophical about this. <laughs> I woke up one morning about a year ago, and I was like, people do this. Like I, I hear a lot of people do, doing this. And I was like, it's in my country. Why not? And that's the reason. Short and sweet. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hello, my name is Dmitri. And I'm here because I want to fool the seven summit programs. Uh, I dreamed about it since I was 25. And now I can start this program. So Kilimanjaro is the first summit I've done. Uh, the next one I think will be El Bruce in Russia and I don't know what will be the next. Um, 
Thank you all the team, Team Simba. Uh, one team wondering, it was very interesting and pleasant for me to, to go to the summit with you guys. Thank you very much. Super foggy at the top of the wall today. And clouds cover Mashi down below. But last night we got a good view of Mashi. Great view at the top of Kilimanjaro where we're heading. Today we start on the Barranca Wall. One of my favorite parts from last time. We'll see if I like it just as much. Day four of the hike starts with a bit of rock climbing. Just past Barranco Camp, the Barranco Wall is 257 meters, 843 feet tall. It can look daunting to many, but the handholds on this wall make it manageable. As you climb, expansive views of the valley you're leaving greet you. Karanga Camp sits just past a valley. To get there, you have to hike down over branches and rocks into the valley and then up the winding dirt path to the camp. Yeah, I have been doing like mountaineering for, uh, for uh, quite a few times for uh, like previously and I love mountains so much and um, of course Kilimanjaro was my like, like bucket list and I was always to do that and then when we when we got this opportunity to come to Tanzania for the, the research purpose and it's like we this was a perfect situation for us and then and as well it's very special because we are doing it together that makes it very special and it's not all about just like uh, getting to the summit but it's like being together and then uh, go through all the challenges and all the ups and downs and just make it together is just like uh, I mean very special for us and I love that. Hello! <laughs> we wanted to do something special together and we're doing our research in Tanzania and so it was the perfect opportunity to go climbing here and then we wanted to do something together that's like adventurous and something we can support each other in and then have it be unforgettable yeah, and be able to have it with us forever. <laughs> there was another optional hike after getting to Karanga Camp. Following the start of the trail to Barafu Camp, we got to the top of the first hill where we had a view of Mount Kilimanjaro beyond the clouds. So this morning, Kili has no clouds on it. It is so clear. Let's hope it can stay that way. Summit push is tonight. I am ready. I am pumped. I'm excited. And this is a beautiful view to greet us on day five. There is Mount Kilimanjaro in all her beauty. And then come the other way and we are above the clouds. Off in the distance, there's Mount Maru.
final section leading up to Barafu Camp brings you up out of the valley to the ridge the camp sits on. At this point, many are feeling the altitude and finding it harder to get a full breath, making the upward climb difficult, even with the reward of camp waiting at the top. from here to the summit. Of course, everybody who climbed Kilimanjaro plans to get there, but not all of them who get here. So when we say we are happy to see you here, we mean it. Mm -hmm. So congratulations. <laughs> Picture of sunrise. Na mama, kibudu au na mambo, ayaya. the ice over here in this giant wall of a glacier and we're above the clouds all around we are the only mountain around world's long tallest freestanding mountain I can't believe I did it. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. I made it to the top of Kilimanjaro. You can see the glacier behind me. The patches of ice. And there's nothing else around or above the clouds everywhere you look. I have never done anything harder and I have never been more proud of myself. All seven of our team made it to the summit. That alone was incredible, but this time there was a touch more magic in store. Thomas had been plotting. He and Megan were determined to summit together and he wanted this to be the start of their forever. Yes. Yes. Mawa, mumbe, mawa, mumbe, mawa. Biga makofi, biga makofi. I miss you, miss you. I miss you, miss you. Biga makofi. I miss you, Dada. So, walking down now. <laughs> We've taken as much pictures as we can and we're done, we made it. How does it feel? Accomplished. 
so much accomplishment. <laughs> so much pride in me. Oh, everyone is gonna know that I climbed this mountain. <laughs> you climbed this mountain with no training. I know! Woo <laughs> Alex's birthday was on Summit Day, but our guides didn't forget him. He's more of a behind the scenes guy, but this moment was all about him. Yeah, happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Alright everyone!